and welcome back to another Talking Thursday with yours truly. If you're new to the channel, I am Shamanism, also known as Emily, also known as many other things. You can call me anything, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> welcome back. If you're new around here today, I just thought I would do sort of a quick video, honestly, and introduce you to my new friend. I say that sort of tongue in cheek. However, I do have a new musical friend in my life. And for those of you who don't know, I am actually a classically trained flautist, a flute player. I went to school for it. I have my degree, yada, yada. I came across an instrument recently, which I had never come across before, which is called the handpan. And I know it sounds kind of crazy. I just fell in love with it. And I was like, I need this instrument. So I wanted to introduce her on the channel because you're probably most likely, absolutely, definitely without a question. Not gonna lie, that might have been for the thumbnail. <laughs> we'll see if I use that or not, but this is Harriet the handpan. And she arrived literally four days ago. So we haven't really had a whole lot of time for me to become acquainted. Well, oh, I should really back up, shouldn't I? <laughs> so you guys can kind of sort of see. I wasn't sure how far you'd actually be able to see this. So I guess we'll get kind of here. Bear with me, I did thankfully order a stand so that in the future I'll be able to stand up rather than sit down. The one that came with this, we'll share a funny story, is this. Now, for those of you who know anything about instruments, you will be as confused as I was probably about this and why a hand plan player or any sort of like percussive instrument that was gonna be off the ground would be in this. And I'll tell you why. Let me show you something. So first things first, the top of the hand pan looks like this. So as you can see, there are nine notes that go around and then the middle one, which is called humorously to me enough the ding, <laughs> which I don't know, it's like ding-a-ling, anyone home? It just makes me laugh. Anyway, this is the side that you play. Some other hand pan, it, it depends upon the hand pan, but some of the hand pans have notes on the bottom side as well. But this one, mine only has them on the top. So anyhow, the point I was making was with the hand pan, the, if you'll notice, there's no open spaces here anywhere. This is all closed. Everything up on here is closed. Now, the point I'm making is this is the bottom of the hand pan. Now, for those of you who know anything about acoustics or music or anything like that, you'll know that for something to play, you have to have air flow or air coming out or air, air needs to be able to move in order for things to make sound. So this basically needs to be uncovered to make sound, right? <laughs> you know, i.e. It slowed out of my hands, but you know, I mean for you to, that's not like pretty, but <laughs> the point was for you to hear it. Now, if you put that onto this, what do you imagine the problem is? <laughs> well, think about it. You have a hole on top of now cloth. So it's like, you're just putting something right over it. You're just dampening it. So I don't really understand the point of this unless I'm just a numpty. And actually this is meant for us to sit on. I don't know. <laughs> At any rate, I've decided that playing it on my lap works the best and or now I have a stand that's coming that is a standing, a standing stand. That's <laughs> what it is actually. Is. So anyway, I wanted to introduce you guys to her. She is her, her being Harriet the handpan. <laughs> so original, Sham. I know, I know. Thank anyway, so she, in case you're curious, she is a D curd handpan, which as far as I'm aware is the most beginner handpan because hello, hi. Like I just said, I am a flute player. I do not play the handpan, or I have not until now, until four days ago. And so she's in the scale of D, so a D minor scale. So is the scale, which is cool. And you get, so you get different chords and things you can do like, or, which is so neat. Um, and it's, I really like it because it's so versatile. Like pretty much you can play all over here. Oh, the other thing that's really weird that I want to mention, which is so cool to me about this, which is different than any other instrument I've, I, me personally, that I've ever played is, <laughs> for example, with my flute, which I of course don't have on hand, didn't prepare that, didn't think about that. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter that I have it. The way you hold a flute is like this, even though a lot of people will, <laughs> will jokingly try to hold it like this, but if you actually hold it, you'll see that that's not really practical. You need hands like this. And the way that it works when you play the flute is essentially, there are of course exceptions to this, but the majority of how you play the flute is either you're lifting fingers up and making them less, 
or you're, well, that's not a great view, but you're either lifting them up systematically in that order and putting them like less or putting more down, right? And there's a few exceptions, like I said, where you have different combinations, but for the most part, it's linear like this. With this, <laughs> you basically play this not exactly the way I'm about to say, but essentially it's almost like this half with this side of your body and this half with this side of your body, which for me is really weird and really something I have to get used to. So I thought I would introduce you guys to this. I will more than likely be incorporating this when I get a little better sounding or maybe even not to wait, to be honest, I'm gonna try to get a good sound out of her as much as possible. But again, um, I'm new, so it's gonna take me a little time to get used to her. But so the scale goes, like I said, like this. <laughs> I don't know why my fingers are delayed today. <laughs> and you know, you can also do like fun percussive things with it, like. slappy like where you hear the metal more or you can play it like nice and melodic and like people do nice meditation type stuff like this so I don't know I'm not I don't really have a lot of patterns under my belt yet I pretty much just know the scale so far so my exercises the things that I've been practicing are really sort of just scale patterns so for example you know until you get that and then idea so really honestly I've just spent the last about four days <laughs> trying to acquaint myself with the scale learning it trying to get used to playing her and things and I just I am in love with it guys so you're definitely gonna be hearing me play her in meditations that I put out coming soon and I don't know honestly where this will go <laughs> I'm so I, by the way I feel like I have to mention them because they were 100 million percent a huge influence number one um, and two, they're just incredibly talented musicians and handpan players specifically. So go check out, I'm going to put them a link in the description for sure, because they're incredible. Like seriously, do yourselves the favor. It doesn't matter if you're working. I mean, whatever you prefer for relaxation, right? Like whatever it is that you might be doing, if you like relaxing music at that time, go and find these people. Malt Martin, and a, a gal named Julia whose channel is called Change of Colors. And again, I will link them in the description so that you guys can go check out their channels. But they are unbelievable musicians and inspired me so much so. And I fell in love with the handpan largely because of them. So do yourself a huge favor and check them out. And, you know, I will be here getting better at this stuff. <laughs> that is way harder than it looks, by the way. It's basically a roll. Like you go broom and it's... <laughs> easier to play on the flute than it is on this. <laughs> and then the groove that I've been really liking, which is the first pattern that I learned from Malt Martin, is this pattern goes like this. It's so pretty. is it's so versatile like you can almost take that and put that anywhere across this whole thing and it sounds really really beautiful and the other part pattern thing that I learned was from a gal actually this one's still from Malt Martin I think um yeah this one is still from Malt Martin this one goes the little flare at the top 
because I like that. But essentially the chord progression thing is just And it's really cool because I I know this might sound strange to those of you who maybe don't play music and stuff, but for me, what had happened over the years, as strange and obscure as this may sound, is that my training kind of boxed me in. I, it was like I learned the framework so well that I almost couldn't see outside of the box. And what's amazing and beautiful to me about this is it almost allows you, you can take a position and kind of do this wherever. So like, Part of that was here, and then part of that moved here, and then it moved here, and then it moved here, but it's basically the same pattern all over the thing. And I mean, can we just appreciate how beautiful this is? Like, yes, I'm a sucker for pretty things, so I got the one with the gorgeous mandala. Like, look at that. I love that. So that's what that looks like on top. And if you're curious, the reason it sounds metallic is, you know, slightly on purpose. It's slightly the quality of my piece, but meaning my drum. Um, but this is how they sound, sort of. I mean, I personally find it so soothing, and I know I'm playing a bit quicker. I'll, I'll just give you an example. So take that pattern that I was just playing, and you can take... literally anywhere so you can turn that into I don't know you get all these different sounds and it sounds completely different it's just incredibly versatile and like I don't know, the different chord things you can do, the different percussion things you can do with it. It's just an incredible instrument. And seriously, do yourselves the favor of going and checking out some hand pan music. So you've now met my friend, Harriet, <laughs> the hand pan. I really do hope to be entertaining your ears with, I shouldn't actually put it that way because really this is meditation that I'll be making for you. So ideally the idea of them is not to draw attention to myself. It's more to relax you guys and just play kind of of different patterns that you can do but I get really lost in it it's really fun for me because I can break out of my little box so that's really all for today guys I really hope you're having a beautiful beautiful week I thought that I would just come and kind of do a silly one introduce you to she which you will most certainly be hearing in the future because I fully intend to make meditations with her because I'm in love and even though I can't play her very well I am in love with her <laughs> so I hope you are having a beautiful week that's enough of me for one day, and I have nothing more to say, as unexciting as that is. I have been lost in, I shouldn't say lost. Oh, also, actually, before I forget, this shirt is relevant. This shirt, you can't actually get anymore, by the way, so I guess kind of a psych, but <laughs> there's a fellow on YouTube that I watch whose name is Rocky Kanaka, and he is, I don't really know what to call him, to tell you the truth, but he has a coffee farm where he rescues shelter dogs or rehabilitates shelter dogs, as well as he goes into the shelter in his area and he helps get dogs adopted and things like that, and he sits with dogs. So I bought this shirt to support the recovery, rehabilitation, whatever you would call it, of this dog whose name is Bean. And the reason is sort of twofold. It was one to support the doggo because he was recovering and he need, they needed funds to help with that. And so it says, cool bean. And that's a picture of bean, if you can imagine. And um, I wanted to support dog shelters. I wanted to support Rocky. I wanted to support the dog's health. And I used to say cool bean all the time when I was a kid. So I just thought it was funny. So that's all the exciting stuff that you have today from Sham. I hope you have had a beautiful beginning of your week, that you have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend. And if I can send you away with some words of wisdom, it is follow what lights you up and makes you happy. Follow your passions, guys. 
the gifts that you have are actually not an accident. And like, I could not have told you that all of the things leading up in my life until this moment would have prepared me to be a handpan player of all things. I'm a flute player, y'all. What, what, what is, <laughs> what is this doing becoming my main instrument? Like, I don't really know as I try not to throw out my back doing that. Anyway, so have a good week. I will see you guys for the next Talking Thursday, and I wish you lots of love. Follow your joy, follow your passion. I don't just say that for my own health. It's because that is what will lead you to a happier, more blissful, peaceful life. So if you guys, oh, also I'll just mention, sorry about the end, 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 end. Welcome to my brain as I'm trailing off. Um, I also wanted to just mention that it's likely for many reasons that you'll be seeing me in the meditations. Not that you have to watch them. You can still just listen to them and drift off to sleep. No worries. Just thought I'd let you know that I'm going to be filming myself most likely with the ham pan playing by the river if it's even running. By the way, on that subject as well, I want to share that part of the reason I've been struggling to make my meditations is actually, and this sounds crazy, but is actually because the river isn't running there's no water. I mean, there's water in Vermont, but there's not, we're in a drought y'all. And so I actually am unable to go to this river because it's not flowing. There is, there's no river to speak of. So I think what I may do instead in light of that fact is take Harriet, the beautiful hand pan outside to just different spots in nature to play for the meditations. So anyway, you guys have that to look forward to, to just nice relaxing nature and calmer tunes than I was just playing at like, a, you know, I was just playing at a pretty good clip, but I will be playing meditative speed things and more chill, mellow tunes. And yeah, so I hope you have a beautiful week and a weekend and I will see you guys for the next one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. You could be literally anywhere. And sometimes I really don't know why you guys hang around. I am so grateful. I send you so much love. And if you, if anyone wants to communicate with me, don't be shy. Anyway, have a beautiful week. Namaste. Much love. Bye. But I, but I just, you theoretically know how to get in touch with me. So have been, can I make myself quieter? Okay. Let's see.